few, few boxes, have a look. Yeah, this will go from like this up to there. This might be a might even go there. there. Right, no, that way. Get the cord on the left side. You're immediately faced with the problem of doing it in the natural environment, especially in a sacred place like this. Retaining uh, an independence of the vision and yet fitting into it, not, not disturbing the landscape. Why not just do something totally different that um, is just inserted, dropped into the landscape as if it's come from another dimension? Some bejeweled thing, perhaps from the gods or whatever, and suddenly it's there. When I had that thought, then, then the form of it, um, and, and its uh, outer skin, which I wanted to have as a sort of a mosaic of colour, so it would you know, really stand out and, and read through the, through the barriers and mm. all the trees. It fell into place very quickly. Harlequin Shuttle from its very beginnings was going to be a challenge. It's eight metres tall, 1,200 millimetres across. So for me it's probably the biggest thing we could possibly install in the rainforest as a single object. Mm -hmm.